been favoring Stefan for like at least the last five sets. Yeah, it's been a while since Jackal has taken one, mm -hmm. but nonetheless, this is where you want to take it just to close out the tournament, bring home the money. But nonetheless, here we go. We have surprisingly game one on small battlefield as opposed to PS2. And Jackal starting off early as he usually does. Going to be able to tack on good damage here. Yeah. Great zone break right there with the dash attack. Realizing that he can't, he can sneak in under that block. And the tipper, the tipper back here, right there. Wow. And Jackal just coming in crazy. You know, that's just like that tournament momentum that you have. You, you know, coming in from loser side, most more often than not, you have that momentum yeah. coming from loser's final. So, Jackal. Yeah. A lot of people have fatigue when they play so many sets straight, but Jackal is just one of those players that excels and thrives off of playing so many sets straight that he has a chance he's still going to make it back. And I love the recovery option, remembering what happened last set where Stefan was able to capitalize oh on that and he, he had doing? the right idea. No, the, the idea was correct, but the execution wasn't as Stefan was able to punish with the up smash, but still Jackal, 60% oh, of chase. extra credit though. Don't take that away from Jackal right now. Yeah, but nonetheless, Stefan, you know, this is what he loves to do. He gets this little bit of damage. He oh had to punch God, yeah. again. He oh had my that. God. He had to punch the ticket in right there with the back air, but not going to be able to get it. And Stefan going to be able to get this damage going. This is going to be an even game. That hurts, bro. Just about 98%. <laughs> not going to be able to get the edge cancel on the Elytra, but still. Mm. All right. Nair coming out right now. You're oh seeing the back God. airs are going to be... A game changer right now for Jackal if he's able to convert them. And he has been so far very consistent with all these back air confirms. And now he has the upper edge, has Stefan on his final stock. Despite Stefan sl slightly starting to build up the, his um his deficit and make it ease. I think this is no jump right here. Trying to go off stage with the forward air. Almost had it too, but just, just barely missing it is Stefan. And Jackal still in the slight lead right here. Going to be able to... Get a forward air, and I think you have, yeah, you have no pickaxe here. Oh, my God, oh, but the forward, no. the down air right there, and you have diamond on deck. This is not where you want to be if you are Jackal. Oh, my God, here we go. Oh, my God, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Whoa. Oh, my God. And he made sucks. an L in the process. It wasn't even just like, <laughs> the, I the, the accidental L. <laughs> Hold this L, says Stefan. <laughs> Unfortunate way to go. It was, Whether it was intentional or not, it was the perfect block placement, and it worked out. <laughs> nice L placement, man. Good stuff, good stuff to Stefan. I mean, good stuff to Jackal, too. He played that really well. Played that really well, but yeah, Jackal, yeah, like like we said, you know, Jackal came off of the fresh set, so yeah. Stefan's still a little cold, so mm. once he got warmed up, he started playing really yep. well. And now Stefan one game away. If Jackal wants any chance at even taking Fusion 102, he has to win four straight set games. Well, not straight. Well, straight, but yeah. Well, well, not straight, four, but he has four, to win four. Four games. Four games, and Stefan only has to win this one. one. Yeah. So this is huge, and we're still opting to go back to small battlefield. Oh, well, not a bad stage, just very neutral based. But if uh, Jackal is able to keep this momentum, we Ooh. already seen him start this way in game one. And it wasn't about how he started, it's about how the game finished, and it went in favor of Stefan either way. All right, but here we go, Stefan. Ooh, not going to be able to lose that stock with the up smash, but Jackal with a very big lead go. here in that second up smash, gonna be able to close out the stock and it is curtains for that first stock. And let's see what Stefan has on deck to be able to bring this back. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. But um, dash attack coming out. And once again, the fares are coming out from Jackal. I mean, he's been converting a lot more of his uh, combo games. So, you know, he's making it look real easy so far. And now Wolf has 55% of extra credit racked up and still hanging on. He hasn't, he's gotten 79 uncontested and 93 uncontested uh, damage. As I say that though, Stefan's gonna put himself on the board, get a little bit of damage of his own, trying to build up anything. He needs material, he has nothing to work with. No gold, no diamond, barely any iron to work with. Yeah, Zachel is doing a really good job of zone breaking the blocks right there with the F tilt, realizing Whoa. that he can break them with the F tilt and dash through and break the zone with the dash attack and doing a very good job of closing out that stock with the up smash. And great momentum being built up right now on Jackalson. Yeah, that is such a patented uh, Steve thing to do where they place the TNT cart, just praying that the opponent gets back on stage, but nothing coming of it. Jackal playing a little bit more cautiously, holding on to that first stock of his, which he is yet to lose, and still tacking on damage like if he... 
he, he's he's playing without a fear in the world. Yeah, and right now, Stefan is just Ooh. spiraling and air dodging in disadvantage. You know, Jackal is just getting all these reads on all these disadvantageous situations that Jackal, that Stefan has been in uh, okay. and not going to be able to make it back with the uh, wolf, uh, the fire wolf. So here we go. Let's see what Stefan can muster up with these up tilts. Going to be able to get a diamond on deck, but still going to eat a dash attack for his troubles. Let's see. Going to get the forward air into the forward air. All right, and oh. the back air trying to parry that, and the tipper gonna be able to close that out. And here we go, game number three of the set. Great composure coming out from Jackal, despite what happened that game one. You know, he was just in it, and you saw him play at a whole new, different level. It just seemed like everything was clicking. And game two goes in favor of Jackal. We are running it back to small battlefield once again, and. Stefan still has one more game to win. If he takes this one, it will be Fusion Fusion 102 going for Stefan, but Jackal does not want to make that easy for him as we get into it. Game three of what could be the final game of Fusion 102. Yep, yep, yep. And like you said, Stefan doing a great job of taking that game number one. But right now, Jackal with the great momentum that he has taken after taking that game number two. And let's see what he could do. But Jackal... Gonna over, get a little overzealous and eat a couple up tilts and up airs for his trouble, but gonna be able to get the up throw into the back or Wow, that's insane. Yeah, just catching the fact that um Stefan was going to either build a block. It was more of like a 50-50 guess, but either way, Jackal was able to convert off of it and not get the stock yet, but still he has that stage control oh until God, the up tilts and up airs coming out from Stefan, and we know him for that. We know this kid loves to camp. Oh but if he finds the God. opportunity, Jackal will take full control, catching him, his landing right there, and good stock being taken from Jackal. That is a great way to start off in this game three and build up momentum. Yeah, he literally just caught him off the rebound, like off the heezy. Oh. oh, but that was almost a true shield break setup right there coming from Stefan. Great recognition from Jackal staying in the corner, realizing that I cannot get overzealous right here in the corner. And here we go, getting breaking the zone through the walls with the Nair and actually ending up on the other side of it. Up air. Oh, gonna get the forward air into the up air. Nonetheless, here we go. Let's see what Jackal has in store for Stefan in this game number three. It's Jackal just getting so much mileage on this first stock. Jackal, oh my god! Jackal is playing with a vengeance right now. He is fighting because he knows <laughs> how, how confident he life. knows he's confident. He's confident right oh, now. Oh, not and gonna be able to go for the up air too. <laughs> And right now, Stefan is really struggling. He has no materials to work with. Jackal is just covering every single option. And even when Stefan has the time to start um, mining and crafting, nothing has been coming out. No oh, diamonds, oh no gold, no iron You're dead. as well. Oh, my oh, God. He's, no. he's Okay, we're, we're good, though. We yeah, here. Jackal is on his ass right now, trying to get these backers to close oh out the stock. God. But great chase with the up and We got a three stock in that game number three. Woo. And we have a... Re -re 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 reset and this is now dead ass finals what a chase yeah that was good as hell and now they're opting to go for a rock paper scissor um challenge to see what stage we go to next they want to ban stages now stefan is not playing around yeah he knows for sure like, he yeah. has to do he's like this stage is not it for me yeah. right now so i gotta go somewhere else i gotta get out of there mm -hmm. <laughs> i gotta get out of there <laughs> Definitely for sure, Small Battlefield is out of the question, but Town & City is not. So we'll be seeing a different stage layout. We'll be seeing a larger stage, higher ceiling, and smaller side blast zones coming out. And that could be the demise for either character because both these characters just could kill off the side pretty easily. Mm -hmm. And now you have the little kids chanting for Steve. Cringe. Yeah, cringe. <laughs> Nine cringe pie being one of them but uh here we go as we get into it game one of the grand finals reset we love to see some gr some resets and we have people oh wow we have the crowd behind me yeah yeah <laughs> we have yeah we have a little bit of a crowd going and cheering stefan on right now but jackal shutting them up with this lead <laughs> that he has amounted right now coming into this game number one of the racket reset with the same momentum that he left this last set off of yeah, and right now all that damage has been worked up already. Oh my god, oh my god, what are you oh, what are you doing in there? <laughs> what are you doing in there? <laughs> Crafting himself into the block is uh Jackal as he still has a good lead to work with the TNT the TNT crate oh, right there. Yeah. And I love it. He's waiting. He's not playing scared anymore. He's saying, I can wait. I'm fine with just chilling in the ledge. I know for sure eventually you're gonna have to explode that TNT. 
um, car crate. So here we go. Yeah, Jackal right now, Jackal seems momentum. like, yeah, it seems like he he Whoa. has really gotten the download the on this set. But yeah, it's looking like he is just all over Stefan. And Stefan really just has no opportunity to get anything going. No materials, no advantage, nothing really. But right here, there you go. You're going to get the forward air out of shield. And that's really been the difference maker for um, Jackal so far against Stefan. He's not allowed him to get any material, as you're mentioning. So we barely seen any diamond. We barely seen the gold. We're not seeing... Any iron a lot of whatsoever. Minecraft, uh, yeah. Minecraft either, you yeah, know, and that's like anything. That's, that's like the big thing that mm -hmm. Stefan has been relying on too. But oh my god, oh my god, he's on his. If you blinked, you missed it. You could call out Stefan for getting that beautiful tech, but he still ran into that up smash that Jackal called out, and now Jackal running away with this. That is five oh stocks straight. He has not lost a single stock since uh, last. Since uh, two games two ago. Two games ago, yeah. Literally the first game on oh that, God, the second game on Small Battlefield. And that's why Stefan was like, yeah, I really got to get out of there. But nonetheless, Jackal was bringing that aggression on Town and City, too. He's like, all right, you want to, like, pick a different stage? I'm still going to be on your ass. I'm not letting you, like, build. I'm not letting mm -hmm. you get these materials going. And right now, Jackal is just on his case, realizing that as long as Jackal is just on that. And oh, oh, my, my God. God, another three stock. That's back to back. Six straight stocks coming out for Jackal and now all that momentum build up you have a small crowd in yeah, the this background is, this, this is, a, is getting this is the download this is huge right now Jackal has been waiting for this moment to do to be able to finally put his uh, his um himself on the board against Stefan which has been like at least five or six straight times that he's lost so this is so huge for Jackal you see him just taking a sigh of relief right now like just breathing he finally has the lead in terms of the set count so now one game in favor of Jackal. Stefan has two if he wants to take Fusion number 102. And FD is the stage pick for what could be the final game of this Grand Finals. Yeah, so Stefan right now, what Stefan has to do is just like, right, I got to take my time. I got to get my advantage state going. Okay. Jackal, you really got, I got to get you out of here. So exactly like I said, Stefan is on his case, not letting him get anything going. But Jackal, as I say that, starting to zone break and get his advantage state going. Yeah, and this is for the first time you actually see Stefan having the upper edge over Jackal. Jackal's usually been the one that's been responding with all the damage to start off, but now Stefan finally being able to craft, finally getting a little bit of damage going in his favor, and now getting a little bit of hits here and there. Still has the upper edge, gets the trip, but nothing coming of it for Jackal. Yeah, and right now Jackal just needs, oh my god, and the big hitbox of the TNT going to be able to close out that stock, catching Jackal going air to air with it, and this is where you want to be if you are Stefan. Get, getting a little bit of damage, and you still got a little bit of materials mm -hmm. to work with, too. Yeah, and that's going to be crucial right now for Jackal. He wants to get the stock as soon as possible, but, oh my god, opting, knowing that he was in a shield poke position, opting to go oh for the god. up smash and catching Stefan in the air, and even though the 9% of extra credit is there, Jackal getting a little bit of momentum riding, and he could bring this back because we know Wolf for a lot of uh, combo game potential. Yeah, Jackal's doing a great job. He's like, all right, I can't. He's like, Wolf really doesn't have the best out of shield as to counteract this, uh, mm -hmm. up these up tilts or these jabs on my shield, so I'm just gonna get out of there. I'm gonna realize I'm gonna get my opportunity eventually. So let me just get right. out of there and let me get my my stuff going. But great stuff to Stefan right there. Gonna get the landing up air. Gonna get a couple up airs for his Ooh. trouble and gonna get the rebound off of the block with the minecart, but not gonna get anything off of it. But here we go. We're building a wall. Yeah, Jackal. Um, just being one step ahead of Stefan right there. That could have been really solid right there for Stefan if he was able to convert anything mm. off that rebound. But still, Jackal. It seems like he's finally figured something out that pro that most people probably Ooh. haven't about Steve. The up smash not gonna be enough, but that's damage being built up and we have a gold and a diamond on deck for Steve and at any point in time we could be seeing that come as a factor but Jackal not going to make it easy for Stefan so far. Yeah Stefan doesn't really like you said like time and time again earlier during these sets Stefan does have a lot of materials Ooh. to work with I think this is no jump on this situation either. Oh okay. great read yeah. right there too realizing that Jackal was going to overshoot the ledge he's like all right I'm on you. All right. And even though uh, Stefan has the lead right now in terms of the stocks, it's not something that you want to be comfortable with. You do have diamond and gold on hand, but it, you know he doesn't want to use it yet. Oh my and God. now he can finally take it out because he has a fresh stock. He doesn't have to worry about dying anytime soon. And at 0%, Jackal could be taking 60 right off the bat. Yeah, and that, Stefan just using his invincibility to perfect, uh, like, like perfect opportunity Ooh. too. Gonna be able to use his invincibility to get all these materials going. But Jackal, oh my God. as I say that, oh is zone God. breaking. And he's oh on his God. ass. And Jackal has racked up all the damage that he needs, and now he's in a favorable position. Oh my God. He's going to use that block to his advantage to get the rebound, but nothing coming of it. 105% oh of the tip back here. It's going to be enough. Wow. And Jackal, four 
great stuff. Four straight games for Jackal as he takes it over Stefan in the first time in what seems to be such a long time. The crowd is popping off in the background, and we love to see a good redemption arc coming out from Jackal, making the character development actually uh, go in his favor. Yeah, and the way that he was just playing, he was literally, he literally just had the download after mm -hmm. that game number, that game one in yeah. grand finals. He, he was like, all right, I'm going to just take it slow. No, actually, he didn't even take his. He's on his ass. <laughs> he was beating his ass. There you go, man. So he was like, "All right, I just gotta get in your face, and I really just gotta like, I can't give you the opportunity to mm -hmm. build the to get like mine your to mine your materials or get your materials." Right. And I was like, "I just really just gotta beat your ass." Like, yeah. and like you saw like that whenever Stefan got his advantage to go, he was like, "All right, I gotta start mining," and that's what like got it so close for that game mm -hmm. number that game number two in the reset. Yeah. Good stuff to both these players. Stefan played phenomenally. First time making uh, making it to grand final since the Arcadian. Mm -hmm. Good stuff to him. Jackal, once again, just um, playing the way that he does best, you know, just being the guardian of fusion as he puts himself once again on the leaderboard, putting himself, giving himself a fusion win once again. And if you guys love what you watch, I mean, hey, only Don't here at Fusion, follow. man. Just, just drop Don't a follow, follow if you love. <laughs> If you love the commentary, if you want to give us any criticisms, if you want to give us any compliments, there's our Twitters right there. It's Gabe OG, Sinatra Clout as well. And, guys, that is it for us. Please we'll be give, back next week. Yeah, we will be. We'll so be please give week. a follow, a like, and a subscribe to, to Collision Smash if you haven't yet. On and Twitter guys, and YouTube. I don't know if you want to show the slide one more time before we go home. It is Collision 2022, guys. If you are around the area or if you want something to do in March 12th through the 13th, come out to New Jersey's very own Collision 2022 at 3167 John F. Kennedy Boulevard in North Bergen, New Jersey. We are just 15 minutes away from the city. So if you don't want to go, you know, just stay watching Smash the whole time, just go out to the city. And I'm pretty sure by March it's going to be, you know, beautiful weather. It's so. going to be nicer out. It's also the first PGR event of the season, guys. Hey. This is going to be, this, you got to come to this event. It's going to be sick. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. crazy. It's going to be crazy. It's almost, <laughs> it's almost fully capped, guys. So if you have the chance, please do so now. Register. And if you can't, yeah, just support us, man. Just watch. Yeah, yeah. Watch, subscribe, do all that good stuff because it is going to be an event to watch as it is next week for Fusion 103. But this has been Fusion 102. Sinatra, I don't know if you want to finish off with anything. No. Nah. I just want to go home. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Let's go. We out, guys. Yeah, have a great night, guys. Thanks for thanks for watching. Drop a follow to Collision on Twitch, Twitter, mm -hmm. and YouTube. Follow us on Twitters on our Twitters respectively. There you go. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Have a good one. Have a great night. There you go, guys.